Hello, hello everyone. Hello, beautiful dreamers. Alexandria Barker here with you this morning. And I want, oh sorry, afternoon. <laughs> it is 12 12. And I wanted to talk to you about the impact that the media is having on our vibrations as we're con continually being inundated with this whole COVID thing. But I also, before I get into that, I just wanted to let you know why I chose this particular time of 12 12. Now it has many different spiritual meanings and angelic meanings. What I really liked, hi John, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this was inspired by a reader and um, maybe I can share. I'll just ask generally if I can share who inspired this and whoever it is, you know you you know you're there so you can let me know. <laughs> Anyways, um, I chose so, so some of the meanings behind 1212 is that you are on the right path that you are where did i write these down just to be sure i don't forget any um that it's safe to step out of your comfort zone and really begin anew and also it's a reminder to stay positive and it's also about harmonizing ideas that seem to be in conflict with each other and just really finding finding the core core belief that you can you know you can draw from it anyways um, okay, so, you know, I'm out there in, in social media world too, and I know that the short answer to how to avoid all this is just to turn it off, but it's really, really difficult to, um, you know, to do that and, and be, it's on the radio. It's like you turn on the radio for some music and right away it says COVID is making everyone afraid. And then, so you turn that off, you go to watch something on Netflix and it comes up you go to watch anything on YouTube you go to Google anything is like we are continually being inundated and as a friend pointed out they are well aware of the languaging that they're using and they're using NLP and um, to, to choose words that are going to instill and create this fear in us and there's not only you know the the government pushing all this COVID stuff and I agree you know to a certain point it's it's important to stay informed and we really do need to know about all of these things for our own safety but there comes a time when you have to kind of draw that line in the sand and go you know here and no further and uh, so yeah I just wanted to speak to that a little bit today there's also so many people who are doing the the opposite of the government they're doing the conspiracy theories and that is instilling as much fear in people so really what, what I've been doing, how I've been combating this, is just to really zero in on what do I want. I mean, I know myself in the past, I have thrived when the country has been in recession. You know, like I've, I've done very well when I've been hearing all these messages about how bad things are. I thrive regardless, and it's, and it's something that you can do as well, because I've mastered my thoughts. I know the importance of focusing my thoughts. And that's why I created this group to share all this with you as well. We are all co-creating this big, beautiful planet, and we are the creators of our our personal existence. And we co -cre we create that by choosing our thoughts, choosing our emotions, staying on top of things. You know, from the minute, the minute I get up for about an hour. It's designated as my personal power hour, and that's when I do my visualization, I do my meditations, I do my affirmations, I do my gratitude lists, you know, I do some yoga, I do some Pilates, whatever the mood, you know, hits in terms of that, or I might just go up for a walk, but not until I've done some core things to really instill in myself what it is I want. And, and that is something I would really recommend to anybody out there. Just start your spiritual practice. Just begin with a gratitude list, feeling that appreciation, feeling, you know, that, that control. Because fear, you know, there's only really two emotions we're told, we're taught. And I believe this. There's fear and there's love. So if, if people are promoting fear... It's, it's about control, really. It's about they're trying to control. We're more easily controlled when we're in fear. So the way to counteract that is just to fill yourself up with love, beginning with love of self, and then extending that love to everybody, your friends, your furry friends, you know, the planet at large. So just really filling yourself up with that love 
and thinking about the positive things about this. Like I, I made a post the other day, like what fabulous things did this COVID-19 bring to your personal life? I know a lot of people are thriving. A lot of people are enjoying their free time. They're enjoying more time with their children and with their partners. And they now have the time to write that book or you know create that workshop. So there's a lot of positive things coming out not only just on a personal level, but the world at large. You know, we're we're hearing these stories about dolphins now showing up in places where they haven't been for so long. And the one that really blew my mind was in India. They could see now this mountain range they haven't even been able to see for 30 years. I mean, how bad does your, your smog have to be to blot out an entire mountain range? I mean, that just boggles the mind. But how wonderful. And the ozone layer is healed. I mean, like, there's so much positivity coming out of this. And if we can hold on to that, that's going to boost our immune system. That's going to keep us healthy. So, yeah, so do do the do. Do the due diligence. You know, wash your hands very carefully. That's something we should be doing anyway. You know, like, follow the guidelines. Do your social distancing. I'm not saying not to play play ball with these things but i am just saying don't let that become you know just your go-to thing now what's happening with covid today you know <clears throat> just bear sorry i have allergies it's nothing else so don't worry <clears throat> um days like this tend to bring it out more it's kind of rainy here where i am so anyway, just to, uh, I just wanted to submit some of those thoughts and I'd like to get a dialogue going. If anybody feels strongly about this, you'd like to continue this dialogue, I would love to. And we can talk about actual tactile ways that you can handle your particular issues. And always just remember that as a life coach, you know, this is the work that I do and the Akashic Records work that I do. So if you want some one-on-one -on -one with me, just PM me and we can make that happen. Um, but anyway, I would like to continue in a group forum. So I didn't want to take up too much time with this, but just to let you know that I'm aware of what's going on. I know how you're feeling. Of course, as an empath, I'm picking up on all of it. So I'm really just trying to, I feel like it's my responsibility as a light worker to raise my vibe as much as I possibly can and share that and radiate that out to the world. And if you also identify as being a light worker and an, an empath who is here to help others heal as well, then make that your focus. It only takes minutes a day and you'll be amazed at how different you feel. And then, yeah, turn off the news. Like, <laughs> we don't have to know every breaking moment. Just remember, they really want our attention. But if you listen to Abraham Hicks, which I do, uh, they're saying just let it go. Don't pay attention to it and it will subside. Because the more attention we pay to something, the bigger it gets. So we don't want to be responsible for making this even bigger. So get out there, go for a walk, do whatever you can do. Do your physical distancing for sure. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, so I'm going to sign off now. But big love. Mwah! Love you all so much. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.